What you doing, hon? <laughs> Why are you videotaping for? Because it's the first ride out Is for. This yeah, the first ride out with back seats. We think. Are they dirty? No. Did you wipe it off with a wet cloth? I wiped them off a long time ago. Well, look how dirty they look. They're not. They're just old. Okay. So what are you doing? Got all kinds of chips. Yeah, that's okay. It's a, I'm gonna be covered. So what are you doing? I'm gonna take a ride in my car. What car is it? It's my electric car. It's a commuter car? Mm -hmm. Okay. First ride out with back seats. Mm -hmm. It's a 1980 electric commuter car. It's the uh, brother of a Citicar. car. It's a 48 volts total. 24 volts. Um, series two parallel 48 volts. So we're gonna take a ride. Here we go. Key is already on. Switch it in the uh, forward or reverse and push on the pedal. Speedometer is a little off because it usually has 12 inch tires, but this version has 13, so the speedometer is about 4 miles per hour slow. So here we go. So you can see the road too if you can. You ready? Mm -hmm. Speed test. Ready, set, go. Jeez. <laughs> Speed test. Like I said, the speedometer is a little slower than um, it's actually going. The takeoff is pretty good. It takes off nice and easy, or you can uh, floor it, which is fine too. So, we're cruising. Me and my wife.
Okay, What's not tall enough to mow? The yard. And they're mowing it anyway? Yes. Oh well. I spent 10 years working on this car and it's still not done. But you can drive it. <laughs> That's what matters. I did drive by a cop once on the uh, Voltzilla electric motorcycle, which I know uh, most of you have seen. Uh, if you haven't, Google Voltzilla or check it out on my YouTube channel. It's kind of cool. But uh, I thought I'd make a video. I haven't really videotaped this since a uh, long time ago, since I got this uh, actually together enough to drive and it was pitch black. And uh, they made pretty bad videos, but uh, you could see it and it's entertaining. So I'm going to head back home and I'll show you some some details if you'd like to see them. And uh, I think my neighbor's in front of me in his Jeep. back home and uh, that was enjoyable. What do you think? What about your new car? You like it? Uh-huh. Why is it yours? If I'm the one building it. That's because you said you already have your show car. I don't got one. Oh, I do? Mm-hmm. Oh. Let's, let's show what's, what's under the hood. This is what's under the hood. And this is what's under the trunk. And what's the what what's the compartment under your butt? Um wiring. What else? The motor. Let's see it. Hey, you lift that side. Scoot it forward. So here we have uh kind of hard to see. Battery charger is always in the car. Those are the contactors for forward reverse and uh, parallel series. And there's a solenoid down there that is actually for the beginning phase um, of the startup. A nice easy startup with this coil resistor. That's right here, stainless steel. But if you're interested in looking up this car on anything, uh, YouTube or the internet or whatever, it's uh, this is a 1980 commuter car. And they also made a CITA car for a couple of years, and it was the first electric production car made in America. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was made in Springfield, Florida. And um, basically, I own one and I'm rebuilding it, and this is year like 11 or 10, and uh, I'm not even close to done yet. Into the garage. It was done by a baby's college years. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Riley. To be so we can take it to school for her. Oh, yeah. That would work. There's Voltzilla. Voltzilla. We can drive when she comes to U of E, she can just drive it to school. In case you haven't seen Voltzilla, check it out on YouTube. It is an electric motorcycle that I built. See how cheap. I could build a motorcycle. Do you have the key? No. Hold on, let me get the key. I lost that one this morning. Yes, I know. I already lost it once this morning. In case you were wondering, the battery that is next to the seat there is actually goes underneath uh, the seat with a charger for it also. Well, as of now, those are my fun toys I have, and uh, we'll see how long I get to keep them since we are having a Dexter or a Riley. Right? Yes. Let's see. Hey, what's the date? What's the date today? Yeah, what is today's date? Roughly? 9409. 9409, I think. Uh, yeah, see ya.